Hello everyone, as you see I have prepared some watercolors in advance. I've mixed up a little bit of orange with purples for her skin tone. And I have a photo reference so I'm going from light to dark according to her muscle tones and the shadows on her body. Trying to keep the colors flat and transparent for now because I'm planning to add more layers after this uh, first layer is dry. In the darker shadows, I'm adding more depth to them, so they, they are more opaque than the lighter shadows. The color palette that I chose is mainly purple and yellow, so I mixed up purple in all of the colors that I choose, and it's a really dark purple for her hair, and a mixed up purple for her skin tone as I said before. And in this case the character's skin color is very tanned, so I'm also adding a lot of orange to her skin tone. over the layers that I've done in order to unify all the layers together and make them look more fluent. After waiting for the watercolor layer to dry, I'm adding Copic markers both to unify the first layer and also to add more depth to her skin tone and the entire painting. As you see, those are complementary colors according to the color wheel, purple and yellow. Now I'm rendering all the details that I've drawn to enhance the colors and all the smaller details as well. And now adding flats to the background, mainly orange since she's in the desert kind of environment. And since I chose it to be a nighttime, it's a kind of purple in the sky to to kind of give the effect of uh, either after sunset hours or really early morning hours
as you see I'm starting to render also the rocks that I've drawn I'm using a photo reference of a random desert that I looked online to think of environments it's better using reference to make it more accurate and give a better feeling to the painting or the drawing that you're doing used reference for the moons over there as well from random images on Google I looked for uh, space images and planet images for the mountains behind her I used more purple to give it more depth Besides that, I decided to add more background, so I took off the desk the painting and I added perspective lines. Um, I wanted to give the painting more depth and I added a little bit of uh, building structures behind her. And I'm inking them with a, a purple Copic Multiliner 0.05. Magnifying the background and then drying it with a hair dryer to add more details. Adding more details with a Copic marker uh, using skin tones and mainly purple. Now adding more depth with colored pencils, it's also the finishing part, which is my favorite part, of course. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video.